name is Katie Dukes and I teach in the Law School at MMU and my poet that I've chosen for LGBT History Month is a contemporary British Chinese poet, she's called Mary Jean Chan and this is her debut collection of poetry called Flesh and it's just won the Costa Book Award so I'm clearly not the only one that thinks she's fantastic. Um, so Flesh is the French word for arrow and it's a term used in fencing but it, I, mean, I gather it means an aggressive fencing move. And that's one of the themes that she explores in her book. Um, the main reason I really love this collection is because she writes about being a queer Chinese woman and she writes about her relationship with her mother and her family and she also writes about Chinese history. So there's a massively um, wide you know, scope of things she's talking about. The other reason I really love the poetry is she writes in a very lyrical, beautiful way, but it's also very direct, and her language is often very plain. So I wanted just to read a poem that illustrates that really nicely, and um, if you can see, the title of this poem is Two Backslashes, <laughs> that I think represents two chopsticks, and that's a, uh, so the title of the poem, I don't know, maybe she would call it Chopsticks, or Two Backslashes. And it goes like this. My mother lays the table with chopsticks and ceramic spoons, expects you to fail at dinner. To the Chinese, you and I are chopsticks, lovers with the same anatomies. My mother tells you that chopsticks in Cantonese sounds like the swift arrival of suns. My mother tongue rejoices in its dumbness before you as expletives detonate. Two women, Two men, disgrace. Tonight, I forget that I am bilingual. I lose my voice in your mouth. Kiss till blood comes. So sorry does not slip on an avalanche of syllables into sorrow.